What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage money. cube draft time. Stip, don't accidentally join an Ikoria queue. All right, hold on. We're going to be doing a uh, Josh VS stipulation here. Add come Stip. Josh VS. Don't accidentally join an Ikoria queue. And... I don't know if you guys noticed, we just did... We just completed the stipulation. Uh, draft at least one card that is not from Ikoria. All right, we're gonna do that one too. Took a lot of took a lot of stipulations in this draft, and we did them all. So, do we take swords or cobra or kavu? Uh, we take mana drain. I, I don't know what you're saying right now. And then we follow it up with a mystic confluence. Oh, I didn't see mana drain. <laughs> I was like, what? What is this dude? What are you talking about, Matthew? You friggin' lunatic. Yep, now we're taking Mystic Confluence. Yeah, Josh, let me know what you want to do. That would be sweet. Nah, but really, I'll come up with an actual... No, way, dude, I just did it. I just did it, Josh. I don't even know... what. How are you going to have two? Unbelievable. I want to take Time Twister in case we get a Narset. I don't like Time Twister, but I like it better with, like, Narset and, and Leopold potential. Flooded Strand also good. That's fine. Stip is now mono draft blue. Wait, that's not how that that works. Leo set or Narvald? I would never forget Narvald. Oh, Underground Sea. Underground Sea. It's like Caribbean Queen from... You know what, guys? I do Caribbean Queen a lot. You should know it. it's from Billy Ocean. I shouldn't have to tell you these things. Oh, Badlands, eh? Interesting, interesting. Mine's desire. Are you feeling like going down to Kokomo? I don't even know what Dranath Magistrate is. Library. He's trying to get us in that Sultai train. Send him on down to Sultai. Have you ever been out? I just like Badlands here. I like Bolas' Citadel too, in case we're tinkering. I took the Bolas' Citadel. Citadelio. Oh, Dark Slick Shores. I'll take this over Shriek Maw for the same reason I take it over Bone Shredder. Because those cards suck ass. How do we win? We have four cards in our deck. Why? We... <laughs> do you often know how you win your draft by the fourth card? Huh. Well, I mean, we're all here and we all care about each other, so we're already winning. We're already winning. Um, frosty tea, lumbering fowls, the lumbering fowls. It lets us play the 
Zisultai. Frosty T is just a good win con, though. Oh, I like a frantic search. I think I like a frantic search anyway. Okay, I'll frantic search. I'll search frantically. Man, I like a metal worker, but that dude, not good here. I mean, Stormers always feels open. I want to take Chrome Mox in case we're, like, in case that Mind's Desire comes back and we're just, like, trying to storm. Ugh. Well, I see you on YouTube all the time. Nerdsta, what's up, my dude? Show and tell, huh? Well, see you later. I guess just Hypnotic Spectre? I don't love it. I'll take Quagmire, since you're so intent on forcing me into Sultai. Thank you! David Nivar, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the rat train. Your one stop for source for all your rat train needs. Guys, I got a question. Oh, Mind's Desire did come back? Holy Jesus. That's fascinating. I don't know. I have a lot of rat train needs. Is that true? Not Florida has been alright. The weather's real wonky. It's pretty wild. I'm gonna take this guy. Mind's Desire Chrome Mox, huh? You know, I still don't think we're storming, guys. I kind of just want the breeding pool. Jace Vryn's Prodigy is good. Remand is good. Dig Through Time is okay. Oh, is it David Niver? Nivar? Golgari Signet also pretty nice. I don't know where we're at right now. Ugh. Breeding pool, Mox Diamond. I'm going to take the breeding pool. Water Grave too. I think we're just taking Cryptic here. Ancestral? You're not the Ancestral I want, but you are an Ancestral I'll take. And maybe Days comes back, huh? Maybe Days comes back, huh? I mean, Splash Crassus is pretty reasonable. We have Hissing Quagmire in this guy. I think we are splashing Crassus here. Opposition. We're not an opposition deck, unfortunately. Could be a looter deck. I think looter's pretty good. This is not Green Black Hydras with Corp Jack Menace. Nothing has changed. <laughs> it's all still the same. Turnabout? You ain't that exciting. Pfft. 
Is it Whisperwood? Is it Edric? None of these cards are super exciting. Fixing is king. Take any two color card you see. Exceptions for fixing sources, land things. That seems good. I like that. Edric Electric Drick. <laughs> that, that was that was funnier than it should have been in my head. I'm gonna take Sower of Temptazione. That's what we say in the in the biz. I'm gonna take Murderous Rider. Probably not playing this guy, huh? Dig through time came back. And we got a leader. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, let me write that down, Joshy boy. <sighs> Tendrils, and we have Mind's Desire too? It's better than like Necrotal, right? No, not for the deck we're actually playing, I guess. <sighs> Tassiger is such a mediocre card. I'm just not. Oh, Yogmoth is good, though. Good gravy, man. Storm is open. Frantic Search is one of the few times I actually like it because we have Dig Through Time, so we can just fill that yard. I got Time Twister, and actually, it's not terrible for us. Oh, buttery biscuits. Yep. Oh, I'd like an Ashiok or a Grim Monolith too. But we're taking the time walk, boy. Can we also get a uh, little uh, little Snapcaster Mage, maybe? Or, I mean, this is actually a decent Torrential Gearhulk deck with Cryptic Command, Mystic Confluence, Frantic Search, Mana Drain. Oh, Mox Ruby. And a Mind Twist. I think it's actually Mox Ruby here. It's off color. We also have Baleful Strix, which is very nice. There is the Torrential Gearhulk that we just mentioned. But I bet that dude comes back. Huh. We also don't have to play Crassus. Yep, put it over here. Time's wasting. The problem with Mox here is that it doesn't help us cast Cryptic Command. Oh, control magic. Oh, demonic tutor? Jeez, I want that creeping tar pit, but I don't think I'm passing a demonic tutor. I 
I'm not passing a demo, guys. Time's a wasting. This feels like our deck from yesterday. We went one two with, which is making me sad. Night's Whisper's nice. Necromancy's nice. Mystical Tutor gets a lot. We already have D Tutor. I don't think we need both. I do like just Night's Whisper to draw to. High Tide also not terrible. I'll just take Night's Whisper, I think. Oh, Time Warp? I mean, we got Time Warp and Time Walk. Taking all the turns. Unfortunately, we are not an upheaval deck. We do not have the the, the ramp for it. We are not a tinker deck. We don't have anything to tinker into except for Bolas Citadel, Citadel. And we don't have anything to tinker with except for Mox. So, not ideal. Oh, Scalding Tarn is nice. Gets us an island, gets us underground sea, gets us breeding pool. Beautiful. We are looking for a few more playables, though. I mean, we can toss in Tassiger if we really want to. I also don't love Time Twister without Narset or Leobold. Trinket Mage only gets us Mox Ruby. That's pretty pretty bad. Katie, my love. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Overgrown Tomb. I think we're just taking the overgrown tomb here. Ashiok came back. So did Fractured Identity. Shut up and take my money. What the actual shit? Brandon, hold on a second. Floaty Boy Step must take all creatures of flying you see, exceptions for power and fixing. And, oh dang it! And then it was gone. I'm gonna take Ashiok, but like, if I had any white fixing whatsoever, I would definitely take the Fractured Identity. Good gravy, dude. Baleful Strix, Vraska, and Torrential Gearhulk came back? Wow. I mean, if Torrential Gearhulk could hit sorceries, I'd be so on board with it. Might just be Baleful Strix? Vraska's also real good? It's gotta be Torrential, right? I think it's still Torrential. We have Dig Through Time, Cryptic, Mystic Confluence, Mana Drain. Yeah, this is actually a decent Gearhulk deck. Oh. Coligon's Command? We do have a Scalding Tarn. Yeah, Mystical Tutor came back. Lava Claw reaches. I'm going to take Ultimate Price. We don't have any Ultimate Price. Uh, we don't have that much removal. Time's wasting. Dude, I love the support you guys send over when it's vintage cube season in terms of like steps and stuff. Like, it's my favorite thing ever. Okay, let's go to see what Super Fritz Arena said. Must take all creatures of flying, except for power, and Scarab God too, just because I like him. <laughs> well, also, Scarab God can get creatures with, with flying back, right? So it's basically the same thing. Must take all the dudes. I can take sword out. 
I actually think it's definitely worth playing this with Overgrown Tomb and his Quagmire and Breeding Pool. <coughs> Tempted to play Coligon's Command with Mox Ruby in one in one uh <laughs> What's that called? What's it called? Take time Dang. twister out actually. Oh, Adam with the ten gifted subs, my dude. Get out of here. Get right on out of here, you. dude. You guys are ridiculous. I appreciate you, man. You are awesome. Adam, remember that time I moved to, to Utah and then like we were all excited about Thank actually getting to like see each other at events and stuff? And then it got and then I it quarantined like literally one month into my move. That was pretty sweet. Thank you. Man. Sweet quarantine. Adam, thank, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, my dude. Uh, I don't actually think Yawgmoth's that great in this deck. We have nine creatures. Thank and no real creature engines. I kind of like Coligon's command and, and just putting a, a, a red in here. Thank you. Yeah, me and Jake were talking thank about that. They were just like, man, I hope we get to do stuff before I move. Like... It's such a weird situation. Thank you. Uh, I don't actually think we need any green. We have one, two, three, four green sources for like one really late game Thank green you. card. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do want one red so we can sign it if we can find it with Scalding Tarn. In black we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we actually get one more. We'll go to 10 here. 16 lands and a Mox Ruby. That actually seems fine. We have Ancestral, Looter, Frantic Search. I don't even like Frantic Search that much, to be honest with you. I had opponent tutor for a land and to cast Dark Ritual into the Yawgmoth and did nothing the rest of the game. That's a yikes for me, dog. Alright. Let's see if this weird deck does anything. God, I hope it does. Watch, well, we're going to have Mountain Mox Ruby in our opening hand. I also tried very hard to maximize the number of islands in our deck. Well, this is close. <laughs> That's, um, I mean, we're keeping it because it's a turn two... Uh, Hypnotic Spectre, right? So. Yawgmoth didn't go to 1,000 years of crazy robot dictator school to be called that 2-4 guy. It's true. That's Dr. Dr. Yawgmoth to you, buddy. Katie, how are how are your animals crossing? Are they crossing okay? I think we're getting a breeding pool here. No, we're not. We have to have two blacks. We gotta get underground sea. Then we can go rubles. Swambles. Spectario. Spectario. Why are there no terrifying railways in that game where you can lose your animal? Because that sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it's basically 1997. Well, they're going to incinerate this guy, so it's going to be even closer to 97. Go for the throat. I'm going to be like, oh no. It's close enough. Time's wasting. Well, we need one more blue mana to cast Cryptic. Ideally, we can draw Mana Drain, Mana Drain their 4-drop. And then play a big-ass Crassus. A big Crassus. 
Oh, that was my creeping tar pit. All right, whatever. You got it. Joke's on you. I can't even cast that guy. Thing. A big crowd. Asses. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's pretty all right. Show me the smile again. Katie ordered an Apple Watch and it just got there, so. Why? <laughs> I don't understand your question. Oh, because the growing pains. <laughs> oh, man. It'll never go away now until you do it again. Yeah. Think about it. Oh, Ashiok. Fascinating. I mean, I'm assuming they have mana drain, which is why they didn't do anything here, but... What are you going to do? Never resolving, but... <sighs> sure. Yep. It's a good hand. They have three cards. 
Thank you. Unknown pleasure. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Let's see what they hit. Let's see. Vendillion click. It's pretty good. What's your choice? <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's a nice little bonus. Took Mystic Confluence, huh? Diddly Vortex, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Or the sub, rather. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Super Fritz with a gifted sub. My, my man. I mean, can we get anything back? We can get a Frost Titan back, right? One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. We got the world spinning right in our hands. Maybe we don't have Um, turn a card from your graveyard to your hand.
one, two, three, four, five, and Colagon's command. Because if we get Torrential Gear Hulk, Cryptic Command is the one thing I want to keep in there. Um, Thank you. Definitely Mana Drain. Ancestral seems a little too slow this game. We'll take Frantic Search, I guess. Oh, Michael B with the gifted sub! Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> you know, like you do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. So one, two, three. Oh, no, we don't have, to, don't want to have mocks here. Hmm. Oof. Discard two cards. Uh, get rid of Quaggy Boy. Probably sower. And on tap blue, blue, black. Two, three, four, five, six. We have one mana untapped. We can't mana drain here. I still think it's correct. We have two cards. I tried to do a donation with a message about buttery biscuits, but it was really hard to get it to work for my tablet. <laughs> yeah, butter in the biscuits is pretty rough, man. Imagine playing MTGO in 2020. I don't I don't really have to imagine the thing I'm actually doing, right? Like, that seems weird. Can I just do it instead of imagining doing it? Imagining eating food every day in 2020. And I'm like, no, that's, I'm good. I do it. I do that every day. I don't think you understand the point of imagining things. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a lot. We got a block. Hmm. I think we've, I think we're losing at this point, my dude. Hard to say. Can't attack here.
aggressive. I mean, manager might literally put us on a winning condition here. Position, not condition. I'm going to do a trickerino. Sure. Uh, they had me done on board if they activated Fumarole, but, like, they don't... Wow, that was a solid hit. <laughs> oh, Fajita Night sounds wonderful, Christopher. Thank you. Like right now they're in top tech mode because if we, we can block fumarole, take two, gain two, so. Oh, we definitely don't have to tap down fumarole. We have to tap down creepy tarpet because otherwise we're dead. <laughs> so the other day I was setting up my sitting at my desk in my room working. I'm lucky that I can work from home and started to take a look at my life. Still on blood thinners. Wife asleep but with running, was running low on her meds. Dog bleeding everywhere that time of the year. Roommate passed out drunk on the floor in the living room. And my mother-in-law is still alive. Don't take it wrong, I still, I'm still glad I'm not Mike B, but I wish there was a code I could use online to save money on magic cards in a place where I... And that's the end. Alright, so I mean, like, if they if they top deck something to, to play against us, then they win, and if they don't, then we win, I guess. I don't know. Fucking incredible. Like, why even waste your time, like, struggling to beat a deck when they can just fucking top deck a firebolt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually like Tasker over Citadel. I was actually thinking of bringing a Tasker, and I was like, what can I take out? And Citadel seems like a pretty good, pretty good cut. Also, Pernicious Deed doesn't seem terrible against them. 
Yeah, sword gains life. I think this sword's probably just better. I mean, they also have a braid. Actually, I'm just going to bring in Deed here. We don't have a ton of creatures. And, like, they also have a braid and uh, and Kolagon's command for sword, so... I will keep this and, and, and try to play a turn three. Gentlemen. Turn Frosty is virtually impossible, though, because we would be countering a two-drop. Now we're not going to do anything. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <sighs> cool. Like, I don't even care if you don't know this one, because I'm just it's just better for me to play it now, so... Yeah, we'd have to top take a mox, right? But like that's the that's the way to do it. What do you even name here? Ashiok? It's the only thing I think you would name. Fucking incredible. <clears throat> Nerds, so there's nowhere to link to the Discord. You just connect your Discord and Twitch accounts and it'll show it should show up. So they had duress for our one spell, which was mana drain. And they had Phyrexian Revoker for our one planeswalker, which is Ashiok, that we drew the exact fucking turn after they played Revoker. Fucking amazing. Like, absolutely incredible. Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Cool. Gamma said, did you use the de the desktop application? The des desktop Discord? Because that's where you have to. You can't do it online. Or you can't do it on mobile. Sure. I mean, they're just going to have hard counter spell, right? Even if we draw Pernicious Deed. See you at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. What up, Aceru? More like Dirt Burgle. That sounds right. Cool. Well, there's no way we they let Frost Titan resolve here, so I think we 
I think we know they have a regular good old fashioned good old fashioned counter spell in hand. Snap crack, fucking obviously. So just to be clear, they've had duress, Phyrexian Regator, Renegator, Revoker, Kite Self Rebooter, and regular counter spell. Absolutely incredible. Like I, I this is amazing. Like it's literally, it's literally the mo it's most literal never didn't have it situation that's ever existed, because they actually had every single card that negates every card that we've played. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> oh, fantastic! Yeah, we definitely got outplayed. <laughs> that's that's what that's what I'd call it. That's what I would call it. I already need a day off from magic. <laughs> Six drop is cool. Yep. This is going to be fun. We're splashing for Hydroid Crassus. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Do -do 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 -do. Gonna do, 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 do. Let's see if we can draw fourth land. The old demonic tutor for a third land because your hand is five drop, six drop, six drop.
What up, Lemon Hugs? So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Michael B. Burp, burp, burp. I'm just getting an underground C. Which is hilarious, but that's that's the that's the timeline we're in, guys. You got a demonic tutor for your fucking lands. So you know. And worst case scenario, we draw a couple more lands, and then we can actually just play the cards in our hand, so you know. Chain lightning. No, I would not like to pay two red because I don't have access to two red magic online, but thank you. Thank you for the... Fingers crossed you don't have something to kill this with in response. Okay. Oh, they do. They just didn't play it. So now they're going to kill it. <sighs> Even when we're lucky, it's like half luck. <laughs> it's, it's fucking hilarious. Yep. Time warp. Da, 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 time warp. Just to play from. The... No, it's not the right play to wait till it resolves because if you wait, if you don't wait till it resolves, you get a free token. I think this is our only saving grace. The fact that we managed to get to like. Six six mana and play a Frost Titan. You gonna char us? I mean, the odds of us connecting is pretty low. In fact, I'm actually pretty sure we just Torrential Gear Hulk. I don't think tapping the token was a tell. I think it means I want them to block with either Young Pyromancer or Jackal Py Jack. If I tap this, it means I they, this can't block. Why would I ever tap this? I want this to block. Or this. Like, these are both creatures I want to block. Show me a braid. A braid. Oh, <laughs> 
It doesn't seem real, right? Like, it doesn't seem... It seems fictitious. Shut up and take my money. Take it, the Ikoria dress on the tube got me back in MTGA, even though I was always man I always get mana screwed. Lemon hugs, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, my dude. Six squirrels, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. <sighs> One, two, so they can deal four. So I guess hope they don't have land hell rider. <laughs> he said before they played land hell rider. I run bad sometimes. I ain't never run as bad as Frank. Yeah, I know, buddy. I take the hits so other people don't have to. Well... That's oh god! And when they played land and then played this, I was like, "Here we go." Should have got should have grabbed sower, I think. Me thinks me should have grabbed me sower. Now we're just dead. So, O oh, two, sweet. Quagmire put the sword on Quagmire. Giggity. It's okay, guys. It's just a creature. They have three. Yeah, the deck seemed fine. But, I mean, it doesn't matter if it seems fine when your opponent literally has everything. From a braid to char to fire preventing from getting a token. Chain lightning. I mean, like, what are you going to do? You want cookies? I fucking do want cookies, actually. I actually really do want some cookies, to be honest with you. I ain't even going to hide it this time. <laughs> I'm, like, getting... I'm, I'm cookie. I'm cookie. I'm, there's no way we can, we can beat this, right? Like, they just untap and... And straight murder us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. <sighs> Have not won a fucking game. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, NC, good games. Good luck, and, and hopefully you will always have it in the in, in all future games, buddy. Kerwin, I'm going to actually show you the, the the things I was posting last night.
<sighs> Kermit, you're awesome, dude. I just want to point out Frank Hevish is winning against some random people online, but he kicked my butt in person and knocked me out for a shot to go to the Pro Tour. Is that true? Did I do that? Did I did I play you in real life and knock you out of a Pro Tour slot? Bud mud? I don't even know what that means, man. You know, I, as much as I like Ancestral on turn one, I think Looter is better to hit a black source for this Ashiok, so we'll see. To be fair, our deck only has Mystic Confluence, Cryptic Command, Time Walk, Demonic Tutor. <laughs> like, it's not that good, guys. God, Kerwit, you're a fucking hero, dude. Black Source? Oh, it doesn't even matter if we have an Ashok because they have a Vampire Hex Mage. I'm pretty sure Demonic Tutor is our fixing. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes you can't hit a black man at a cast your Demonic Tutor. I'm just throwing Ashiok in the fucking garbage can because it's really like... Like they have a Vampire Hex Mage, so, you know. Oh, Admirable, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Enjoy your dinner, my man. I appreciate you, buddy. Yep, that's a timey walk. Why would Ada work college professor? Why wouldn't I just be a, an, in work? Why couldn't I just be a, a college professor with a job? All right, you know what? I'm on board. I also need to buy dinner. Oh, they played a swamp, so I can bounce this guy, draw a card. I like that. Come and knock on our door. Oh, 
I don't even want to loot here because I want both of these. I guess if we hit a land. No, it's not worth it. We would have hit a Knight's Whisper. You was are my favorite magic player, and I hate Gutshot. I actually don't mind Gutshot. Everyone asks me that. They're like, don't you hate Gutshot? And I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's just fine. All right, we got this frosty boy on online. Now I'm going to attack because I can discard this swamp with relative ease. It's going to be a bull of citadel. It was not. Um, I'm get rid of Island. Because then we can actually go Murder Shrider and Knight's Whisper in the same turn. Seems good. Joke's on me. <laughs> Torrential Gearhulk, one time. Cheese pizza. Michael, I totally would have ordered some fucking Little Caesars with you if you asked me. I don't know why you didn't ask me. You selfish prick. Got him. Do you sacrifice this? We'll see. If you don't, I will. Okay. What do you want for dinner? I was going to get Indian or... um. Probably pizza, to be quite honest. Well, our only red card is gone, and we have a mox, so I can easily get rid of this mountain as well. So long, mountain. Okay, now I'm definitely out. <laughs> Take care. Let's go to Badoom. I guess I'll take two here. Island island in the stream that is what we are fly away with me the cookie man approaches Kerwin, is he just going to leave it outside so I can go grab it because I don't want to interact with other human beings right now or, or ever really but right now specifically because of corona One, two, three, four. Can we get Ashiok back with anything? I don't think so. And visions. Fill my eyes with that dumb vision. I'll take Hydroid Crassus and probably repeal. And I guess all of these guys will just die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sure. Oh, the cookies are here. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We cast the Hydroid Crassus. Can I see the cookie? Yeah, that's why I brought him in here, so we can take a look. It's from this place called Crumble Cookies, which is delicious. Oh, we got a repeal for this sower, so we can get our own sower back? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, dear Jesus. Oh, God, there's some... Oh, God. These are incredible. Fucking incredible. Just to give you an idea of the size, like... They're probably about as big as my hand. Are they gluten-free? No. 
But Katie actually did have some, and she was fine. Yeah, they're actually delicious. Me and Mike uh, tried to eat one. We got we got like the four pack, and we tried to eat one, and we couldn't even get through one of them. And we were like, "Oh dear, this is so rich." Boom! 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 I was like, do I have to discard? And the answer was no. And we have Torrential Gearhulk Gear Hulk, and Mana Drain in hand, and they have two cards, so I'm pretty sure the game is just, just done. I'm so mean. I almost got you the 12-pack. Dude, Kurt, that would have been monstrous, dude. That's definitely a thing you would do, though. They do not actually have weed in them. Is that place anywhere close to Ohio? Not really. No, it's it's in it's in Logan, Utah. I'm totally gonna dunk on this dude. How did you know people lived in Utah? That's true. What up, Block? What do we get back here? Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a game where I'd like to say we had it all, but like, to be fair, we had four cards left in our library, so... Light and Shadow seems pretty fucking nuts against the black-white... <gasps> ...deck. <clears throat> Take out Frantic Search, I guess. Guys, I got pizza sauce on my... Are you just eating in your bed? Oh my god, dude. You're just like, I bet we're like laying down like a fucking... Oh, Jesus. I'm just laying on my side eating pizza. People reside in Utah. I don't know about living well. <sighs> Mike's just laying on the bed. Fucking pizza everywhere. I'm not laying down, but I am sitting on... How are you sitting on your... Like, well, like, with your legs crossed? Or, like, you're sitting on the edge with your legs dangling over? <laughs> I can't I can't imagine you sitting on your bed eating pizza without it looking real funny. Diddly Vortex, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The dinner donation from Sammy and the cookies from Kurt really helped my mood. I was I was getting real. Between the Ikoria draft and this vintage queue, I was getting a little uh, at my at my edge. Sitting on the edge like a chair. Why wouldn't you just sit in your chair though? Sammy's right. Don't be sitting on the edge of your bed like it's a like you're a little kid. You know what? I'll keep this. You're not putting that pizza on your nightstand. <laughs> Kerber, when you bought him that nightstand, his 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 owned pieces of furniture uh, increased by thirty three percent. There comes I am to Oh, all right. Well.
Show me him to Torok. With that double vision. Do, 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 do. Wow, they took cryptic command? That's wild. Ultimate price! Give me the ultimate price. Overgrown tomb? I'll play that. That leads to a third turn hypnotic specter, which is not super impressive, but it's kind of cool. With that double vision. Oh, Vampire Nighthawk. You send me some of those cookies and I send you Hungry Howie. I, dude, I haven't even had a Hungry Howie since I've been here. That's kind of funny. Boy, the Hungry Howie's meme really died as soon as Elk Tears uh, was was too too preoccupied to hang out more frequently. Swords to Plowshares. Okie dokie, Smokey. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to play Ashok. The, final, the next turn, you just play Vampire Hex Mage. You don't even have to use it. You could just kill. Do I just crass this here for two? It seems terrible, but we want to hit a land drop. It feels Batman. It's like a bad Mull Drifter. But we do have the sword in the deck, so we can actually get our creatures back once they once they kick the bucket, you know? What's well, Elk Tears preoccupied with? Like he just has like job stuff to do. That was why he stopped watching for a while. Well, no blocks. I'll go to 15. Man, hex maging this guy would be great. But I'm pretty sure they know about the Ashiok. I think we're just bringing in Pernicious Deed every game. I think this is just a Pernicious Deed main deck. God, I really wish Torrential Gear Hulk hit sorceries, man. But then I guess you'd just be playing Cryptic Command and uh, or Cruel Ultimatum and, and with Torrential Gear Hulk and Modern. Wow, all four of them, huh? Even though I'm tapped out, wild. I guess it's a I guess it's a thing. I also need to order food before eight o'clock so that I don't starve. No. <laughs> Kurt, believe it or not, I don't know if cookies are an efficient dinner. Wow, two of you just said, uh, you have cookies, you won't starve. That's wild. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yeah, none of this is any good. We're just going to scoop here. 
Definitely bringing in Deed. Over oh, probably Necro. Actually, they have friggin' Lyra. Necrotel is good. Bolus' Citadel has been terrible. I don't think it's good in like deck decks you can't tinker it out. That's my that's my uh, conclusion. That's true as far as calories go. You know what? Not bad. Order online. All right, after this game, I want to order some Indian food and have it brought to my house. Courtesy of Relax and Sam. Thank you so much, Sammy. I appreciate you, buddy. Previously known as Iron Chef Sammy. Oh, hissing, hissing Quagarino. Okay. Indian food is, is fantastic. Oh, get a load of this guy. Oh, I'm probably just going to ultimate price that dude. Don't tell people my old embarrassing name. What are you talking about? Relax and Sam. That's all I said. You know what you did. Then I cried much to myself because I haven't had human touch in like six weeks. Oh man. Dude, Katie's in another state, man. I hadn't seen I hadn't seen her in two two months. I know you're feeling, my dude. Oh, they took this because they have an answer for this. They're gonna swords this immediately. Look at this. Kapow! Give me my two life. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. I once survived a week just on the cookie crumbs of my beard alone. Good gravy, man. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. We're, we're living the dream. Hmm. I'm just passing here. Does touching yourself count as human contact? Good gravy, my dude. Oh, monastery mentor. Reanimate? What do you reanimate? Dark confidant? Oh yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna deed all over your face right now, my dude. Um, do we wanna hit we wanna hit a land though, right? Oh. Let's go island and time walk. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Blue doot doot. Deed it up. Oh, you know what we could have done? We could have sewered this guy and then time walked and then time warped. Uh, last draft? No, I'll probably do another draft and just save my food. I 
I think we just blow it now because we don't want them to draw the card or the or get their extra mana. So eh. blow it all away. Blow it all away. Sure. I'll choose you. Okay. Swords are super cool against the colors that they are swords against. Either way, if you guys are watching right now, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankreport, patreon.com slash frankreportmanitrators.com, which has an amazing subscription service. And you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday, where you can get 5% off with promo code frank5. Check those places and things out. Kerwit, thank you for the cookies. Relax and Sam, thank you so much for the dinner, buddy. Really appreciate it. And uh, Josh and, and Super Fritz, thank you guys for the stips, which we will get to. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Frank, how did you get a haircut? Uh, Logan, Utah is a very small town, and I, I've actually gone over this quite a few times. It's, it's quite a few town. It's a it's quite not quite not quite a few town. It's quite a small town, and uh, an ind individual. I see. I go to. I usually go to a salon, and the one person who cut my hair uh, was working by herself and having only one person in the building at a time, and. It was just a very uh, personal, just small haircut experience. I didn't go to a, I didn't go to a, you know what? Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.